let's talk boxing. Um, Tyson Fury, Ben yes. Davison. I feel like you already knew this before it got leaked or before the scoop came out. I kind of felt like Rob Tebbett knows this already somehow. I think I tweeted you and said, Rob, get the interview. I want to know what's going on. Um, shocked. Let's go one to ten. One not shocked. Ten very shocked. <laughs> um, uh, nothing shocked me really in boxing. But, um, I like that answer. But... How do I word this? Word this correctly. I've heard that it might be on the cards. Okay. Um something might happen mm. uh, but you hear a lot of stuff in boxing not always right mm. um, and sometimes just blatant misinformation yeah <laughs> um, but yeah no I wasn't very I wasn't surprised I spoke to Ben on the phone the day after the news broke yeah um, for 20-25 minutes but Ben's okay. such a level headed guy mm. seems like that yeah fair. yeah so He's very, very aware and very secure in the knowledge of, of the work that he's done with Tyson. It is amicable. Um, I think considering the stuff that they've done over the years together and you know what they've gone through together, mm. it would have been a real shame if, if they had fallen out yeah. properly. Um, but it doesn't appear that that's, that's the case. Uh, Ben's going to be fine with regards to fighters. Um, he's got some stuff coming up in 2020 mm-hmm. that I'm sure we will all hear about soon. Um, but... Yeah, I mean... What about the timing of it? Tyson Fury obviously got this massive... It's not ideal, is it? In, what, 10 weeks? What was it, yeah. 9, 10 weeks? Yeah, it's, it's not ideal timing. If it is February the 22nd... Yeah, still... Yeah. I, I, I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Mm. Um, apparently, they're trying to make some sort of dramatic I, I big announcement. Well. I don't just, really just understand. Announce they just announced the fucking announce fight. The fight. Like, what, what? like, you've already fought once. Yeah. Like, so Money's running out yeah, just to announce just the fight. Get it done. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's never ideal. I don't think when you change trainer before a fight, but Fury is a thoroughbred in a sense of, I don't think, you know, I watched your your video that you did on, you know, bringing Sugar Hill in and mm. stuff like that. I don't think that their plan is not going to be to remould or reshape yeah. or do anything like that. It's about getting them fight ready, getting them mentally it, prepared, yeah. and he knows what he's doing. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a shame in a sense of, Ben and Tyson, I mean, like, if you're around Tyson Fury and his team during fight week, you know, like Vegas or whatever, everything goes through Ben. Like, he's mm. essentially his manager, or was okay. essentially his manager, yeah. as well as his trainer, um, as well as being very good friends. So, yeah, I didn't see that coming initially, but as I said, I did hear kind of whispers, as it were, in the grapevine. But, as I say, it sounds like it's amicable. Yeah. What this means for Fury moving forward, I mean... I He's not going to stay with Sugar Hill. Let's it's probably just this fight and then moving. For, then another another trainer, another guy will come in. I don't know. I, I don't really think you can kind of second guess anything that Fury does. That's true. And I think, for me, and I spoke to um, Babs, mm. Twitter Babs, today about um, about this. This is now kind of the first time. Don't get me wrong. I've always thought Wilder could chin Fury mm. in the rematch, like because their style is perfect to beat the other one. Yeah. Like, but but this is probably the first time where I think, like, okay, now I favour Wilder. Not really? not because of Ben Davison, but like the whole changing a trainer this close to things, considering the last three or four months he's had where he's been fucking WWE yeah. and UFC and on every TV and talk show and stuff like NFL that. NFL games yeah, has been everywhere. It's yeah. like, and don't get me wrong, that's fantastic marketing and he's built like a massive profile. But... You're a boxer first and foremost. Yeah, and you know it's it's well documented the issues that he had in the past of reaching the highest of highs. Mm. He's now fucking a bigger name than he ever was, and he's more in the public eye than he ever was. So how is that going to affect him? Um, interesting point. It's an interesting point. And having a new trainer come in like Fury, I mean he is a an enigmatic fighter in a sense of he does things kind of off the cuff and he's unpredictable and he's unorthodox and stuff like that so how is he going to respond to change like I don't think he knows or anybody knows but I mean Sugar Hill they, they do know each other I you mean know, they trained together for about a month uh, originally and then yeah. obviously he went out and spent some time with uh, Vladimir Klitschko yeah um, but Andy Lee I think they're like distant cousins second cousins or something um and Andy Lee, I'm like president of the Andy Lee. Oh, Andy Lee's club. fantastic. Andy Lee. Commentator, trainer, just fighter, a, every, just, just a, a great really guy. Just a really nice man. Yeah, just a great really guy. Really nice yeah. man. And in boxing, they're, 
not few and far between, but no, like, they, are, it, they are, they are, they are, they are a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's he's a really good guy, and he's a very astute boxing mind mm. as well. I mean, he lived with Manny Stewart. Well, is he going to be part of that team as well? I then? believe so. I haven't okay. spoken to Andy Lee. Um, I saw the tweet. I think Tyson yeah, he, kind of he added mentioned Andy him Lee, didn't in there. And um, obviously, Andy boxed out of the the Cronk gym for yeah. a number of years. Lived with Man, uh, Manny Stewart for for a number of years. Um, my favorite, well. my favorite ever interview is with um, Andy Lee. I, I need that. a Cronk T-shirt. I've got one. Have you got one? Oh, come on. <laughs> Feel free to wash it and pass it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do favor Wilder. Yeah. I've said it, people have asked me on like numerous times on my videos and I've said, look, it's a, it's a 50-50 fight in the sense that they're both kryptonite for each other. But if I had to give it to Wilder's because again, Fury has to be perfect for 36 minutes. I know it's a stupid thing to say, but Wilder, five seconds. I had this conversation with a, door, Hate saying a that. doorman the other night. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, what, well, hat man? No, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. hat man. I wouldn't have known if it was. Yeah. But um, I was outside, <laughs> not smoking, because I've quit smoking now, yeah. um, with a friend of mine who actually works for Sound and Promotions. Yeah. We were just talking about boxing and all that. And then um, a doorman come over and he was talking about... Um, Basically, he, he looked like a proper... He sounded like a proper Hatman fan. Okay, so okay. All the stuff Could have been in. Could have been. Could have been All the stuff he's coming out of is like, wild is this? Oh, yeah, it's Hatman. It just made me smile. But, like, like don't be wrong. I don't... I, I, it's not like I think, oh, wow, that's definitely a huge favourite. I mm. still think it's a 50-50 fight. But yeah. I was always leaned more towards Fury because I watched Fury out boxing. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, he got pancaked at the end of that 12th round but he did win the fight quite yeah. clearly in my eyes so yeah I thought I've always thought all the way along that it would be I'd lean towards Fury but again a 50-50 fight but now I kind of think the other way I think mm. eventually maybe if, if Fury slows down and, and, and is there to be hit then and that happens then I even liked and I don't know what kind of part they played but I even liked the Ricky Hat and Freddie Roach thing I like that, the Ricky Hatton, and Freddie Roach, Ben Davison, almost like a, a group of knowledge coming yeah, together. Yeah, it was like a little dream Yeah, thing. it was like a little dream sim, and that's done as well. Yeah, so, um, yeah. and Ricky's not uh, training Tommy. Tommy Fury now either. Um, so much I want to say on that, but we won't. <laughs> <laughs> so much that I want to That happened um, a couple of months ago, I think. Mm. Um, well, it's obviously just made the, made the headlines now. Yeah. Um, obviously, Freddie Roach isn't going to be involved with Tyson moving forward. Um, it's a shame. I think it's a shame, but hey, we'll see. Maybe it won't play an impact. You're right, Tyson Fury is such a, a character. You feel like if anyone can do it regardless of the situation, it's him. But I, I, I'm with you now. I kind of tip it just in Wilder's favour, just because of little things like that. It was such a close fight anyway, so any little thing either side, you kind of got to go to the, the puncher, or I think anyway, the puncher. Well, no, 100% the puncher. Well, well, yeah, he's the puncher. Now, it's, just, it's like anything, elite level of sport, like the small details make the big differences. Mm whether it's football, boxing, cricket, whatever, you know, these little things here and there, okay, he's got a new cricket. trainer, okay, he's going to have to, I don't think he's going to relocate because he's based in Vegas, mm. but things are going to change. Obviously, since the first Wilder rematch, first Wilder rematch, first Wilder fight, he has become this big star all over the world and he is massive, mate. He's such a big, and how has that affected him mentally? I mean, we saw in the Wallen fight that he... Even before the cut, he didn't look, didn't look great. like he did against uh, Tom Schwartz. Mm. Um, so, you know, if he turns up in the same kind of mentality, mindset as he boxed Otto Wallin, I don't expect oh. that to be a long fight. Dude. I don't expect Dude. it to be long. But Fury is somebody who, who's always boxed to the level of his opponent and kind of rise to the occasion. But, you know, if you, if you come in in that, in that kind of mind frame and mentality, well, good luck with that against a puncher like that.